There's one more approximate member query data structure that I want to mention because it's getting a lot of traction in bioinformatics, especially for counting k-mers. And it's called the counting quotient filter. And the idea behind the counting quotient filter is that you have, of course, a hash function that takes your k-mer and it gives you um, some result from the function. And then what you do is you take the high bits and you take the low bits and you split them in two. So the upper bits give you a location in your bins. The lower bits give you the remainder. Now what you do is you take your bins, and so let's say we've got our bins looking like this. Because I've got a location from the high bits, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that location, here it is, and at that location I'm going to store the low bits. So the low bits are kind of like a fingerprint, right? Because if I take the same kma, pass it through the same hash function, I'm going to get the same result. So what I can do is take the high bits, take that location, go there and say, do I have the same fingerprint? Do I have the same remainder that I've already seen? If I do, I know I've already seen that kma. I can use that for both querying the counting quotient filter, and I can use it for counting in the counting quotient filter. Now, basically, the way that the counting quotient filter works is that you have maybe another couple of vectors of metadata that tell you things like, um, is this particular bin in use? Is it the uh, first member of, a, of a, a series? Is it the last member of a series? And so on. And then if you take a different kma and you get a hash, you take the upper bits. If the upper bits arrive at the same location, then you just use um, uh, linear addressing to find the next open slot. Or you can use quadratic addressing to find the next open spot. And because you've got a set of metadata bits, you can set appropriate bits to say, hey, jump to the next location because um, I'm here, or you're at the end of a run, and so what you're looking for is not here. The only uh, modification that the counting quotient filter does is that in the next location after where you're, you're looking, we just store basically the count of how many times we've seen that sequence. So now if I get another sequence, I get my upper bits, I go to that location, I go to the next location, I increment the count. So the counting quotient filter is also an approximate member query because you can take a different kma and you can get the same location. You can take a different kma, you can even get the same location and the remainder depending on your hash function. Um, but it's been particularly effectively uh, implemented in an algorithm called Squeaker from Pandy et al. and is a great way for counting kmas as long as you don't need to know exactly how many kmas there are. And for most use cases, just having an approximate answer, especially if it's quick, is all we need.